Once you just start to accelerate, it's going to want to fly. Exactly, right? man. Yeah, so just don't get freaked out with it. Just continue to fly it straight out and let it climb up. Uh, it's going to want to take off right into the wind, so you point it more or less right into it. Good luck, Ron. This is this Ron solo flight. Throttle up, up. Nose down. There you go. He's off the power just a little bit. He's off the power just a little bit. The reason is we got you set for landing. So pull your power back just a little bit. You're still climbing like a banshee. Power controls altitude. So if you get too high, just pull your power way back. It'll start to come down. It still looks like it's trying to climb on you, so I'll trim it down just a little bit. Oh. Don't let it get behind you, Ron. Better right turn, right turn back turn. to the field. Right turn. Go. Doing good, Ron. Yeah, it wanted to climb like a banshee because we had it set for landing set power. Yeah. So it had the extra elevator in it to make it climb. Did you set a timer, Ron? No. Norm normally about a five minute flight. Oh, he's got a trainer plane. He's got a big tank. Oh, okay. Send without the extra speed, the throttle is going to control your altitude. So pull back the throttle and the plane will descend for you. Now I take my 540 down, take a look at this, the wind's dying. Got to meet the ground sometime, Ron. <laughs> Sooner or later. <laughs> so when I'm coming in, I want to come in from my right, right? No, from your left. From your left, yeah. The wind's coming from up in here, so you're going to come in from behind it and land it. You know what, might just want to even practice a you low pass. Yeah, you want to set yourself up and slow the airplane way down. And see what it and seems it like and what it feels like. Around. Yeah. If you haven't done any of that, that's something If you've you not done that, you need to practice some slow flybys. Bring the airplane in closer to us. Okay, and you're going to bring it across about 20 feet off of the ground, okay? And you're going to slow the plane down, okay, to la landing speed. You're going to have to cut back on your throttle. You can even keep it up high like that. That way, that way you're, you're getting close to the reference to what it feels like coming close to the ground, but you need to practice these slow flybys, okay, because you're going to have to land it. And yeah, you're going to have to land slow, so it's called slow flight. And I'd, I'd stay up where you're at right now for doing it. It's going to make the plane mushy on you, but it's a trainer, so it's meant to mush out. Right, so so when so when you turn, you're gonna to have to give it a little bit more up because it'll stall and start to drop. That's what you you need to start feeling, okay? Try and maintain your altitude now, but at half speed. Don't let it get behind you. Up, 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 up. Actually, it's wings level. But you're about three times landing speed right now. Right? Yeah, see, so you, so you gotta need to slow it way you, down. You need to be able to just slow the f speed of the airplane down at three mistakes high. Do it, okay. I'm stand on this side over here. And, uh, 
that's fine so you don't get anybody behind you but you need to slow it down and just do some flybys okay Get as close to the ground as you can without touching it. Again, you're way, way too fast. You're too fast. To the ground, so you're too fast. Yeah, you're way too fast to be coming down close to the And ground. you want to keep that plane on the opposite side of you, not in between the vehicles, just for safety purposes, okay? Because you can get disoriented with how deep it is, and so keep the plane in between you and those me. bushes, and not me. <laughs> Okay, but Ryan, you want to start slowing it down for slower flight, yeah, okay? I mean, you can practice up high, but you're, you're doing just fast flight. You're, 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 you're just fast flight. you got to bring that throttle back now and get it to where it's, and, and, and get it to where it's going to slow down. Keep your altitude up. Okay, that's good. Now you're slowing it down. And see, because even that's too fast to land. Okay, so you got to speed back up. you got to play throttle, speed back up into your turn. Not too much. Not, Not too much. much. You just want to keep it slower. You got to get that feel for flying it when it's slow. And now what's going to happen is it's going to be nose heavy. Because we've got all that trim for fast speed. So you slow it down right now to slow speed. Okay. And, and you want to keep it in front of us, okay? It's a fair amount of trim. You don't, want, you don't want to get it behind the vehicles anymore. Keep it on this side if you can, just for safety purposes, okay? You don't want to get behind the vehicles. Slow it down. Slow it down. Up. Oh. <laughs> you, you gotta you get it to where you're gonna come lower to the field and fly it across. You're, you're doing better at your flybys, but you're still going way too fast. So slow your plane down. Slow it down. And, and get used to with it flying slower. Would though. you like me to set that up for slow flight and you can feel what it feels like? Uh, see, I'm used to it last over the last couple of weeks of being a lot faster. Yeah, I know, but yeah, but when you land, you want to you want to got to be slower for landing, which is a slow flight pattern. That's exactly what landing is. It's a slow flight pattern into a controlled crash. Drop again. Hey, that's okay. It was your first landing. Hey, you got it. And you brought it home safely and you did it on your own. I wasn't even planning on landing it, but you know. <laughs> I'm like, well, it's slow enough that maybe I should put it down. <laughs> <laughs>